Very good afternoon, everyone, and uh, I'm Samarjit Malik, uh, and my topic is importance of biometrics and handwriting detection and documentation. Uh, well, before I begin, uh, just let me introduce myself. I am a final year BSc student, and this is a, a review paper that I have been uh, working on since I have an interest, a keen interest, to do my masters in uh, forensics. So I have uh, taken this topic. Moving on to the next slide. Ma'am, the next slide, please. Yep. Moving on to the next slide, the first thing that we come up to is uh, graphology, which is a very important and a foremost uh, importance in the study of handwriting analysis. Uh, because uh, from the uh, part of graphology, we can actually understand, analyze, we can actually understand and analyze uh, the uh, physical characteristics, the pattern of writing. Uh, or the uh, we can uh, to an extent understand the uh, physiological state of mind or of the writing portion or a person's characteristics uh, from the writing part uh, for example uh, studying the angles uh, the garlands or the thread like pattern that you can see in the image beside wherein many people have an idea of uh, making certain angles while writing Coming on to the next slide, uh, uh, I'll be just talking about the hardware, uh, wherein it includes the ink, the paper, or the pencil, the typewriters, or the printer, or the photocopies that has been used. Uh, previously, my, my fellow presenters, as well as from the keynote, dignity, as well as from the eminent keynotes, we have come to understand about how ink paper and uh, the pencil or the writing material is important. As well as from the visual examination uh, from an investigator's point, we can understand uh, and verify the authenticity of the character, the, uh, the characteristics of the paper that is used or the pigment of the paper uh, that is used uh, in writing the document or uh, which has been used in the term of uh, forgery. Uh, moving on to the next slide, uh, we can understand uh, that uh, handwriting uh, through the writing characteristics, we can understand uh, that uh, line quality, word spacing, uh, the shade or the print pressure, uh, the slant in which a person is writing or lifting of the pen at certain points, we can understand a person's characteristics or, the, or whether the uh, writing has been uh, forced because uh, when a person is writing in a complete uh, flow, uh, the writing pattern or the, uh, the flow of the pen is actually continued and there is no lifting of the pen. Uh, describing this full uh, points in the next slide, uh, we have the 12 characteristics of handwriting that we do. That is the height ratio. Uh, we have the spacing of the words and the letters. That is, there is uh, an unintentional, uh, when a person is writing uh, in normal speed or in normal fluidity, uh, there is a specific uh, a space in between each and every word or maybe each and every letter when a person is writing. Uh, the height of a letter, for example, when a person is writing I, capital I, or small I, capital H, or small H, or the dot that a person puts on the I, uh, has a specific distance in general and when a person is writing the uh, document uh, under forgery or under forced pressure we can understand from these characteristics it, we can also understand uh, the strokes uh, the when a writing begins on the page or when the writing is continued or which ends at the end of the writing section going to the seventh point in the next slide uh, i'll be uh, talking about ma'am please the next slide uh, I'll be talking about the pen pressure, uh, which is uh, a very, uh, which is an important uh, point, uh, whether how much uh, pressure is applied on writing in the upward direction or maybe on the downward strokes or on the slants or on the degree of the uh, angle of the letters or the writing that has been used. Many people have a habit of the baseline as such that if a person is writing under a ruled set, over there, uh, people get to understand uh, that uh, many people follow the baseline. Many people tend to write in between the letter, in between the parallel lines. Or also, there are many people who have a fancy habit 
of maybe instead of an uh, instead of a dot on the eye to put the circle on the eye uh, and also uh, it also helps in cutting off the t or making a loop at the end of the z going to the next slide we come to understand about the process to check the ink as in yesterday's session we have come to understand that we can use a TLC, which is thin layer, uh, thin layer chromatography technique or uh, paper chromatography technique uh, through which we can understand the uh, components of the ink that is used, which gets separated during the biochemical tests. In the next slide that I have, we are going to understand about uh, the, uh, the forgery methods. Like you have got three signatures uh, given alongside the first one is actually a genuine signature that is taken from the person. If you go on to the next, uh, the, the, the second signature uh, is basically a traced signature. If you have a close examination of both the signatures, you will find the writing pattern of the J is very much similar, but whereas the A in the next letter and the A in the second one has very close difference since it is uh, imitated or traced. But when a person is doing blind forgery, that is without any reference, the person, uh, then the signature doesn't come up to the mark because the person is doing the forgery or on a visual aspect and just after by seeing without any reference model or structure. Going on to the fourth slide, uh, going, on to this, uh, going on to the next slide, we have got some technological advancements that right now we use uh, so as to prevent uh, as a step to prevent forgery by the biometric signature pads or uh, computerized analysis of handwriting. Using the biometric signature pads, uh, these pads uh, are basically uh, le are learned and computer programmed, which can understand uh, and recognize how a person signatures his name with the speed, the pressure of the pen, or even the rhythm of the signature. And in the second hand, when there is a forgery, the, uh, the graph that we have uh, that is uh, developed from this biometric machines, if the graphs are juxtaposed or uh, uh, studied, then we can understand how the forgery is taking place. Also for the computerized analysis of handwriting, when a computer program uh, has stored, for example, for the check signatures that we have, uh, when a signature is done in the bank and it is stored in the bank, uh, and there, if there is a forgery that can be detected rightly from the computers. Going on to my last slide, uh, we have right now biometric recognition methods, which are actually very important uh, since the biometric system analyzes the act of writing by examining the pressure used uh, and, the speed of, uh, and the speed and rhythm of writing, not just by observing the way uh, in which the words are formed, but also the record the consequences, uh, record the sequences in which the letters are actually formed. They also have a sensor touch method that can actually detect and give a detailed graphics uh, about a graph representation on how the angle of the writing is done or uh, the pressure and the direction of the pain, uh, like the uh, a graph that has been uh, displayed at the last slide, at the uh, corner, uh, you can get it, uh, get it from there. As well as this software helps to understand and translate a graph of a writing from one person in a, uh, from day to day pattern. So using biometrics, we can actually understand and we can actually conclude uh, that it can uh, not only it can not stop forgery, but it can create a preventive measure. It can create a uh, create a way in which we can uh, actually uh, understand or have a preventive measure to stop the forgery uh, from uh, getting uh, from uh, document forgeries in different portions. Thank you.